Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing my first impressions and review on the new e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. I recently picked this up and I was very intrigued because one of my best friends actually had the IT Cosmetics ones and we were talking about it and I'm like, oh, I want to try it. And then I saw that e.l.f. came out with a Camo CC Cream. So I was super excited to try it out. Okay, so I pretty much looked up the foundation claims and it claims to be full coverage, a natural finish. It has uh, ingredients that are beneficial for the skin, it says. And then it also has 30 SPF in it. So the retail value of this was $14. The shade that I picked up was tan, 425 neutral. I had a very hard time finding my shade because in store, if you guys can tell on camera, um, the bottle or tube is a little bit frosted so it makes it hard to see the true color So I had to actually go onto the elf cosmetics website and find my shade that way And yeah, it was a little bit complicated a little bit frustrating, but and now I have it So let's get this product on my face So a little bit of a disclaimer I did not purchase the brush that goes with it not too sure how much of a difference You know that may be but I'm gonna be using my morphe m439 brush. I use this with all my foundations I just really like this brush and it works I'm not going to be using a sponge in today's video because to be honest I don't really use a sponge that often so that's why I'm going to be sticking to the brush Another thing if you guys watch my previous videos you would know that I apply my concealer first and then my foundations after But in this case today the only thing that I have done are my eyebrows so you guys are seeing all my under eye bags and everything um, Yeah, so this is my skin with nothing really on it not too much to hide I just kind of like to wear foundation and stuff just to give me you know a smooth like nice even toned canvas so yeah it says apply one to two pumps of the CC cream to clean skin so I don't prime my skin as often either so there's really nothing on my skin it's just my skin um, obviously I washed my face and toned it and like moisturized it but that was like forever ago so yeah let's see if this matches it seems pretty thick to be honest it doesn't have a smell mm. Okay, to be completely honest, she was a little bit thick, but I could have put a lot on like one spot. I don't know if the color is going to match yet until I blend her into my skin. Okay, if I'm being completely honest with you guys, this shade looks a little bit ashy in my opinion. But I definitely see like a glow right away that I love. I love when my skin looks glowy. I feel like my skin looks ashy though, but I just, oh my god, I love the way it looks. So, it's pretty much on like this half of my face and more of my chin. I love how do it I look. You guys, I love how do it I look. But I feel like the shade kind of looks ashy. I don't know if it's just me. I don't know how it looks on camera. But I love the do. Okay. So, coverage wise... It's definitely full coverage because I have discoloration on my nose and as soon as I put it on my nose, it's pretty much gone. Um, this side of my face has no product on, so tell me guys what you think about it. Okay, so that was just like half of the full pump that's on my hand, so I'm going to go ahead and apply it to the rest of my skin. Okay, you guys, so this is one pump of the foundation on my skin. I think my skin definitely looks smooth and definitely looks hydrating, which I do really like. I love to look hydrating and glowing, so I do like that. This shade, I feel like I should have went with a more warm tone, but this is what they match me to, and it looks like the next shade up is going to be way too dark for me, so this is something that I'm definitely going to have to work with. Um, the coverage... 
it like I said it smoothed out my complexion this is fine for me but I do feel like so certain parts of my skin I have a little bit more darker pigmentation so if I wanted to hide that I would go in with concealer first and um, then go over top I think for today's video I'm just going to be applying one pump and that's it because it does feel like I feel foundation or I feel CC cream on my skin and I'm not one to like that but maybe when I set it and do like the rest of my makeup everything will come together and I really won't feel it on my skin if that makes sense um, I definitely think it's worth the try for $14 I know that's a little bit higher when it comes to e.l.f. but you do get a lot of product and one pump did my whole face um, obviously my skin didn't have a lot that I needed to cover so it may be different for you so far I do like it I just wish I had a different shade because I feel like I'm coming off ashy but I'm gonna give you guys like a full look of my skin okay so I am back I am full face of makeup right now um, all my products that I use went on top smoothly no problems with like blending anything out my skin feels better once that I like set it even though the only place that I really sat on my face are my under eyes and then like the middle of my forehead everywhere else I kind of just let be so it's not really set in place or anything so we're gonna see the true test of this CC cream so right now it is 1 30 I'm probably going to be wearing this for a while um, I have a few things that I need to do around the house if I do go outside then I will like let you guys know an update on that but so far so good I feel like the color looks a lot better now with all my products on my skin because before I just kind of felt iffy about it but then it kind of like melted in and like matched me better if that makes sense but yes I will keep you guys updated throughout my day Hey guys, so it is currently 8 o'clock at night time. I forgot to update you guys when I was outside because I literally went outside to do a Target pickup at like 2 o'clock. But this is what my skin is looking like. Sorry if the quality has changed. I am actually using my iPhone right now because I was too lazy to use my camera. But, okay, so I have like this mirror with me right now. So I'm going to look at my face up close. Okay, so first off, you guys will notice that my nose is missing foundation and that was my fault i completely forgot that i was wearing the not foundation cc cream and i rubbed my nose like there was nothing on my face so that's why that is off but speaking about my nose i did notice that around like around the um like these parts of my nose it became like cakey i don't know if that was my fault for like not blending it out but I did notice that got kind of cakey, but the coverage and like the lasting power of it looks amazing in my opinion. Like I've been wearing it for eight hours, I believe, because I think I filmed at like one o'clock. So I've been wearing it for about eight eight hours, eight or seven hours, something like that, and it looks so good. Um, I know I look busted, but my CC cream looks really good. I'm gonna look at it in this mirror. What do you guys think? Like, I, like, you guys can still see that my skin looks dewy and it still looks healthy. Um, my products, in my opinion, haven't faded. Like, my bronzer still looks like bronze. My highlight is there. I wasn't wearing too much blush, but I just really like the way everything looks. I think the only thing that I would change differently is I would just do, like, my normal routine and do my concealer first and then apply the CC cream on top. But this is definitely something that I will repurchase and keep on using. So I think it's definitely worth the try, in my opinion. So if you guys see it, definitely try it out and let me know how you guys like it. With that being said, I do, um, what's it called, want to rate the foundation or the CC cream. Oh, my God. Rate the CC cream. I definitely rate it a 10 out of 10. Um, yeah, nothing really bad to say about it. Could have been my fault. Maybe I need primer in those areas, but she still looks cute. Well, thank you guys so much for watching today's review. I hope you all enjoyed watching. Be sure to turn on my post notification bell once you hit that subscribe button down below. And I will speak to you guys in my next video. Bye.